All right, Ed the AV guy here. Another attic, nice attic though. We're foamed in here. Well, I don't know if you can tell, there you go. See the foam? We're inside the envelope, so it's not nearly as hot as it normally could be, but we're doing a pretty neat little install here. We're doing um, whole house audio and a couple of surround sound systems, hanging some TVs, installing wireless network, well, in installing the network but putting up a lot of access points and things like that and some cameras so let me show you guys the rack everything is ran back to the attic here and so i put a rack in and we're just we're starting to just populate it so we got a couple of surround sound processors on the bottom and then i'm actually using these stereo marantz avrs to power the house audio stuff. And then I got my cameras here and my um, my switch right up here. Probably gonna end up separating those. I don't like them stacked like that, but here's where all the wiring came in. And it did drop into this panel here, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Um, obviously, what do you think? <laughs> There's no way you're going to be able to populate all of those network lines in that small cabinet. So I'm in the process of just kind of, uh, we're bundling them up by color here to make them look nice. And then I'll probably put one big strap on them. Um, but they'll go in, they'll drop into the top here of this rack. You know, I got good power on the side here. I've got a big, I got power up there in the top. This cabinet is ventilated. Once we get the side panels on it and everything, it's going to look pretty sweet. It'll look nice and clean. I went ahead and added this little cleat right here because I didn't want the rack sliding off that space. We're going to push it right back into here. Um, these racks are great because you're, I mean, I've got hundreds of pounds of gear in here and you just saw me spin that thing around. It just allows you easy access to everything, keeps everything managed and uh, ventilated. Um, so you're less prone to, to failures um, due to wire management stuff. Maybe someone grabs a wire and uh, crushes it or something like that. Uh, or, um, you know, it also does, it's really nice just to have you know, when you want to go reset something, troubleshoot something, you can quickly get around to the back and take a look at what's going on. Um, I like to put these in here, just a real simple off on. You can kill the whole rack with it. Um, gotta be careful, I got a lot of amps in there. You're gonna wanna do two circuits when you're dropping eight amps in a rack. Uh, make sure you have enough power. But anyways, that's what we're doing today. It's a fun one. It's always fun to put together a rack. Who doesn't like a rack? AV guy out.